In question 7, a battery of EMF 9 volts and internal resistance R is connected in the circuit given in figure 2 on the paper. In A, we're told the current in the battery is 1 amp, and in part 1 we need to find the potential difference between points A and B in the circuit. Well, voltage is current times resistance, and the current we're given is 1 amp. The resistance of two 2 ohm resistors in parallel is half that, which is 1 ohm. This gives a potential difference of 1 volt. In part 2, we need to find the internal resistance R. Well, resistance is voltage over current. For the whole circuit, we have 9 volts, giving a current of 1 amp. So the whole circuit has a resistance of 9 ohms. Little resistor, then, is the total circuit resistance of 6 ohms. The internal resistance, therefore, is the total circuit resistance of 9 ohms minus the resistors we know about, the 6 ohms and the 1 ohms, meaning it has a value of 2 ohms. In part 3, we need to find the total energy transformed by the battery in 5 minutes. Well, work done or energy transferred is current times time times potential difference. We have 1 amp for 5 times 60 seconds times the potential difference of 9 volts, which is 2,700 joules. In part 4, we need to find the percentage of the energy that is dissipated in the battery in this 5 minutes. Well, the energy in the battery we can find from current squared times resistance times time. Putting in the values gives 600 joules. The percentage then is 600 over 2,700 times 100, which is 22%. In B, we need to state and explain one reason why it is an advantage for a rechargeable battery to have low internal resistance. Well, energy is wasted passing current through the internal resistance, so with a low internal resistance, less energy will be wasted.